Jackie Hill Perry um, put out a put out a message. And I normally chop these up, mm -hmm. um, but it, every piece of it was yeah, so good that so I, I just yeah. I just gotta let it rise. So here we go. So here's the thing. There's clearly a rise in a, the so-called prophetic uh, deliverance movements, right? I don't find it ironic that that is that the rise is happening at the same time that there is also a decrease in biblical literacy. Okay. So you have a large section of the church that does not know how to read the Bible, does not have like the Bible as a priority in their life, does not know how to explain terms like sanctification, justification, uh, atonement, all the things to explain the triune God, to explain why we are saved by grace through faith, like, like meat stuff, right? And so to me, I think I see the potential for deception because if you don't know the scriptures and if you don't value its authority over the word of man you can't even test the prophecy you you, you can't test it therefore leaving more room for you to be deceived so so i think if i think you got to be honest with yourself and say if i don't know my word i don't need to be listening to all these people's words if i don't know my word i don't need to be running to these prophecy conferences if i don't know my word I don't need to be following after people who they give me more of the I hear the word of the Lord saying more than they give me scripture. That's a red flag. Come on. That is a red flag. If you give me more of what God told you mm -hmm. more than what God already said. I love who am I supposed to trust? Because Second Timothy 316 says that this text is God breathed. That this text is inspired. That, that this text is profitable for training, for teaching, for instruction, to equip the man and woman of God. That, that's what... The, I already hear people saying, so Jackie, you don't believe in the prophetic? That's not what I'm arguing. The Bible says in Thessalonians, do not quench the spirit, do not despise prophecies, but test everything. So my original argument is that if you do not know your word, you cannot test. So we are accepting every single thing that someone who claims to be a prophet says, and I think it's because we don't love his word more. It does not have the same rank and authority in our hearts, and that is why we're, like, what is the difference between the person who chases a psychic and chases the prophet? They do not trust God's word. And there is a level of impatience because the prophet, so-called, will give you a word quicker when God's most likely, like his word might be just wait and you don't like that. Okay? So it's a hard, and I, and I get it. Because when I was a new Christian, if I heard a prophet was in town, I was in the building. You hear me? <laughs> Every week chasing after these prophetic people. And it was because, one, it's easier to go to a prophet than it is to learn how to study your Bible. Come on. It's inconvenient to learn how to study your Bible. It takes diligence. Mm -hmm. It takes discipline. Yes. It takes intention. It takes time. It takes sacrifice, right? Me going up the street to get a word from the Lord, um, you know what I'm saying? They don't cost me nothing but some gas money. So I was, I, I, I didn't have <laughs> discipline. I also didn't have faith. I didn't believe that one, the Bible was sufficient to actually change me and help me and guide me. And I didn't have the faith that God could actually speak through it. Like all oh, the Psalms can speak to my circumstance today. Oh, I, I just thought. Yeah, like the the word of the prophet felt more powerful. And I, like, I remember I'd be like, I don't know what the Lord wants me to do. What, is, what does the word say? Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. I don't know where the Lord wants me to go. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lo, I'll be with you to the end of the age. Lord, I, like, I just, I'm confused. We have this treasure in jars of clay, but the surpass to show that the surpassing power belongs to God and not to us. Be we are perplexed, but not driven to yes. despair. Right? Like the word is sufficient. Yes. Time. I'm not. I'm not saying that God don't use the prophetic. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that His word is prophetic. His word is powerful. His word is a lamp 
It is a light. It is a sword. Cutting to the, through the division of bone and marrow, revealing the, the thoughts and intentions of the heart. Know your Bible. That's it. Amen. Love it. Mm. Love wow. it. I, I want, before, we, before we respond yeah. to that, I'm challenging everybody that's watching right now and anybody who watches this in the future, get active in our comment section. Mm -hmm. There's people who are asking questions in our comment section mm -hmm. that need ministers to answer. Mm -hmm. um, that We can't get to all of them. It's, it's so, so many. Our videos are reaching people who are not Christians. Mm -hmm. So we need you guys to get in there and answer the questions, yeah. provide yeah. provide discipleship, provide um, you know the ministry work. It's, it's, it's a fertile ground for you guys to, to work. So we need your help mm -hmm. doing that. So mm -hmm. whenever we put out a clip, you're like, oh, I already saw that. No, go back, read all the comments, yeah, and, and, and get to work because there's people that need us. That's really good. That's really good. Mm. What'd you think about what she said? Come on, Jackie. That's all I got to say. I come know. on with the come love on. And might Jackie I Sarah. add, looking fly while spitting the truth. Come on. Yeah, come what was she on doing? With riding the glasses in the car? and the rap. I don't know what she was riding. I just know she was looking fly while she was doing it. But I love it. I, that's one thing I love about Jackie Perry. Jackie Hill Perry. Every time I hear her speak, and every time I listen, she pushes you she yeah. she provokes mm -hmm. you to want to get into your bible mm -hmm. yeah that's what ministers should be doing yeah mm -hmm. yeah provoking you to get into your bible and prophecy usually confirms what you already know yes it's not it to take the place of the bible amen right. and if and you can't you don't know if it's confirming anything if you don't even know what your bible says Facts. to know the difference between Facts. a real one or a fake one and people want to skirt around the bible been there did that oh we want the we want the best speakers we want the you know the best pastors oh we definitely want a good mm -hmm. prophetic word because it's laziness mm -hmm. it's a lot yeah. easier to listen to somebody than to open up the bible that, that looks like chinese to you mm -hmm. because you don't have the discipline for it well the enemy's doing his job he's exactly. doing a good job at yep, it and yep, we forget yep. the adversary that all of us you know that comes at us in different ways to distract us or to keep us from really getting in the word to be disciplined with it because that holds the answers for a lot of things that we yeah. make mistakes with mm. yeah yeah I, I would say I, I don't think there's much else to add but I would say that that also goes for pastors and that mm. also goes for when you're reading it yourself mm -hmm. Don't always trust your interpretation. You got to know how. Right. That's why she said, you know, how to study yeah. the Bible. Just reading it isn't enough. Exactly. Yeah. You need to know how to break it down, learn w what God was saying to those people first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people try to um, interpret it and make it into like mm -hmm. a modern day mm -hmm. thing when mm -hmm. he was speaking to specific people. It may have ripples that echo in time, yeah. but you got to understand yeah. what he meant to those people mm -hmm. first because you yeah. may not be understanding it correctly. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like he was talking about loaves of bread and stuff he wasn't talking about iphones and stuff mm -hmm. so you sometimes i hear pastors try to flip things yeah. to mean something in our current day mm. you just gotta be careful about all that stuff That's like good. learn how to read it you need to know the actual history of the mm -hmm. time it was being spoken in yeah. first mm -hmm. and now, I'll, I'll go ahead. i guess the question goes to maybe it's somebody out there that's like so what do you mean, Sean? I can't read the Bible exactly. and get revelation from mm -hmm. the Lord about my about my circumstances or whatever. Because mm -hmm. I think the reason why people do go to prophets is because it's not that they're not reading the Bible. Mm -hmm. Some some of them are not, but some are reading the Bible. But they want to hear from God, and they like God. I want to hear. I want you to talk to me. Mm -hmm. I, I have I haven't heard from you. I've never. Heard, I don't. I don't know what that stands for. I read the Bible, but mm -hmm. I don't see my situation. I don't know. Like kind of like she broke it down really yeah. good, and they were yeah. like, "Your purpose, your plan, what God's called you to do." But I think sometimes people want to, they so enamored with knowing their purpose and knowing their passions yeah. and knowing all that that they like try the, to the try thing to is, get a word. If you need that, then you're not going to be able to test it because the, yeah. the whole thing, the, the only way you can test it is to take what they just said, put it on top of the Bible, and see if it matches. Mm. If it doesn't match, but how? What do you mean how? I'm talking about how it, does that, how does that, if somebody come to you and says, um, <laughs> I just thought about somebody. If, if somebody come to you and say, um, track stars is going to pop in, by next year, how do you take that to the Bible and go? So that did um, happen. That did happen. I, I, I remember I told you guys, I've never, I've never really had to like seek out a prophet. This, I didn't, I didn't they even know. They just come to you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I didn't know. Yeah, they do. Seriously. <laughs> <What was interesting? laughs> 
He gets <laughs> prophe- <laughs> prophecies on him all the time. Yeah. What was interesting was that she said when when I heard a prophet a prophet was coming to town, I was there, and I was like, wow, I've never thought about like going s- going mm-hmm. right. Yeah. So like a carnival. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like you know, um, our, our bishop he prophesies he prophesies probably every other Sunday, oh my Lord. Um, all the time. But like I said, I was at the um, Stellar's. And the prophetess walked up to me and was just like, hey, um, did you just win a Stellar Award? And I was like, yeah, we won with, you know, Guys House of Hip Hop, the um, Christian Hip Hop radio station. And she was just like, you know, just started telling me stuff, you know. And what really was the the main thing, I guess, that got me was when she started talking about my son being born. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, this lady don't know me and my wife are done. We had three girls and we're good. And she was like, she stopped me. When I started saying like, oh, we just have daughters. And she was like, no, no. She was like, when your son is born, God is going, you're not going to be able to do anything to stop that. God is going to allow that to happen. Mm -hmm. And you won't even know it's happening. And I'm like, oh, okay. But how do you test that? But here's the thing. I asked her about the radio station that she was on. She's like, you're not going to need it. She said, because you're going to be on television soon. So you don't need radio with me. And when I got back to Atlanta, we did an interview with 1K Few, and his manager hit us up and was like, man, y'all's visuals are dope. Have y'all ever wanted to be on television? And we were on the Impact Network on DirecTV AT&T within months. Mm. Okay, but so here, here's the danger of it. People can get things right by accident. <laughs> <laughs> and, right? Yeah. They're, no, but seriously. Yeah. There's psychics and mediums who get some stuff right sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? They have uh-huh. a gift. And, and, it's just perverted. And when you yeah. when you yes, when you correct. tilt your when you tilt your ear to the spirit world, who are you talking to? Yeah, who you yeah. listen to? Yeah, demons know some stuff too. That's yes, real. they do. That's so real. I don't know where you're getting the information. All right. Mm-hmm. So thank you for telling me that. But it doesn't change what I got to do. I got to go pray. I got to exactly. read. I got to yes. live my... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to yeah, do... Exactly. The only thing that I know for sure that I need to do is what she said. Go and make mm-hmm. disciples. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. Right? I know for yeah. a fact I have to do that. Yeah. yeah. How I do it, I'm not sure, but I'm going to do it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And God is going to... Maybe maybe yeah. being on TV was him giving you a clue of how. Okay, fine. Maybe. But it shouldn't change what you do daily. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, you, it's hard to test something that somebody kind of just says, oh, this is going to happen because... Mm-hmm. Yeah. The Bible's mm-hmm. not going to tell you specifically yeah. what's yeah. going to happen to you. But the danger is you can open yourself up to mm. demonic influence. That's yeah. true. Because if, yeah. if you believe the one thing that they got right, like the dude that predicted Trump was going to get shot at and he got yeah. some details close, yeah. Yeah. that same dude has been wrong millions of times. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Right? Yeah. So we're trusting him now right. just yeah. because he got one little thing that sounds kind of close when literally churches have kicked him out for being a false prophet. Dang. Like, we just got to be careful. I can yeah, predict some stuff good. right now that y'all be, oh, snap, yeah, that happened. Because you, you can... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the tricks that these mediums and psychics do is that they know there's some common things. Yeah. Most people have a exactly. sister. Most yeah. people have this. You could you could yeah, kind of yeah. get to the right answer, and if and, yeah. and you could watch a medium that's not really de- demon demonic uh, influence. They're just a, a shysty. You know what yeah. I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, they know how to. Mm-hmm. They respond to your cues mm-hmm. like. Yeah. Like your your sister is talking to me. Yeah. My sister's still alive. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Not your sister, but it's a sister of someone close. Like <laughs> well, they, they, they adjust it to make it make sense. You're a Christian and you're going out and seeking that kind of stuff. But what I'm saying, but, but that's me, the same but thing with prophetic. It, some prophets are really psychics in disguise. Is what I'm saying. Oh, I mean, well, perver- perverted. Yeah. So I mean, and, and in my situation, it was it was like I had already turned her off in my mind, mm. and then the Holy Spirit grabbed me mm. and was like, "No, listen to this, right?" Yeah. Mm. And the other thing about it was I wasn't seeking out the right. things you she didn't said. go looking for. It, I wasn't yeah. I wasn't looking I wasn't in my Bible saying, "God, like, are you gonna give me a son?" You know what I'm saying? I was already in my mind like, "Oh, well, this is not happening. happening." We had three girls. We're not having a fourth mm-hmm. girl, and so in my mind, we were both closed off. And then me and my wife both in it was in in sync started listening right and but my but, wife started like taking down notes about yes listening. and that's why i think she was clear to say i'm not saying this is not possible it mm-hmm. is possible yeah, yeah. yeah it's just it's dangerous yeah. so you just yeah. have to be on guard because you don't also don't understand the power of suggestion yeah mm-hmm. people saying mm-hmm. oh this is going to happen to you yeah. now your brain is fixating yeah. on it and now you make yeah. it happen and i'll say you know that was <laughs> that was the first time that ever happened to me and probably the only time, you know, outside of going to mm-hmm. church and then being under the word when my pastor starts to prophesy, mm-hmm. it, that was that's the only time that's ever happened to me. Yeah. So but that was no, me. It's no yeah. substitute for the word. I'm sorry right. to cut you off. No, it's you good. it's mm-hmm. no substitute for it. And I think we try to 
we try to get a quick word because we don't want to do the work. And even I appreciate the conversation that y'all had. I want to say it was last week where y'all were just literally asking, like, do you read your word? Like, not just a devotional, but do you read your word? And that was something that I had gotten convicted on a couple of months ago because I'm I'm a Jesus calling girl. I ain't gonna lie. I love me some Jesus calling. And it has scriptures in it. So you're reading the word after you read the devotional or or whatever. But I really um, had to get intentional about it and there are there are um tools or resources available for that i think um camille she's great at that she's put something Mm -hmm. in in the chat or posted about Mm -hmm. soap you know there are four steps that you can do there to engage with the word and i think Mm -hmm. priscilla shire has something as Mm -hmm. well on steps that you can do to really study the word because it's more than just reading on it it's more than just like reflecting and meditating on it but really taking your time with the passage and really allowing god to speak to you through the word Mm -hmm. and when i when i got there and was like okay I really need to do this Mm -hmm. it's scary because again the word is a sword it cuts both ways Mm -hmm. it's not just gonna cut on my behalf it's gonna cut me Mm -hmm. and so I'm like okay Mm -hmm. God like do I really want to ask you how the scripture applies to me because you Mm -hmm. about to you about to correct me Mm -hmm. I don't know if I want to be corrected and I think that's what people are afraid of as well but you have to be open to that Mm -hmm. if you because that's the word is there it's there to transform it's not there to coddle us make us feel good you know there are moments for that but there are moments of correction as well and rebuke as well and so we have to be open and willing to that as well which I don't think people are always open to I would say this I think a lot of people feel like um, a prophetic gift is um more more itchy oh than, of course than than god telling me no because when she was talking about god saying no you you understand that when god says if you kind of like what you said earlier if you got that expectation to pop off or blow up and remember that dude we had that video where the guy was like the prophet came and was like you're gonna be bigger than lecrae yeah, yeah so now homie may be working even though he may he may make great music he may work in overtime to fulfill that prophecy. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Versus mm-hmm. if God like, bro, I really want you to just to be a local sensation that Come you on. impact somebody in your local neighborhood that that person will go mm-hmm. and change the world. Yeah, would you work would as you hard? Would you be okay with that? <laughs> would you, you know work what I'm saying? Yeah. Wow. I, I think on two points. First of all, when we talk about pastors, the Bible also says, be like the Berean Christians mm-hmm. and go back and see if Amen. it be so. So that's Amen. how you mm-hmm. study it. debunk a pastor mm-hmm. and a lot of times we don't we just it, it sounds good it feels good and we go but then when you start talking about prophecy it de- like in your case mm-hmm. it depends on what kind of prophecy yeah that is a type of prophecy in which okay i hear it like he's you know sean said i appreciate it mm-hmm. and then you just move on with your life and continue right, right? right. Mm-hmm. right. because if it's going to be legit it'll play itself out if yeah. not it doesn't but then when you have prophetic word coming and it starts to connect or with scriptures mm-hmm. or or start to thus save the Lord and that kind of thing, then that's when you can go to the word of God. Because a lot of times when prophets come to you, you are God's already dealing with you yeah. already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then if it's something like in your case, it's just a matter of it being played out. Mm-hmm. So I think different <laughs> one of us, we've all at mm-hmm. some point had some prophetic word mm-hmm. and so yeah. you just okay if it happens it happens don't it don't. Yeah. yeah exactly. Exactly. You said it. If if there's um facts like like uh you should do this or you should go after that and that is conflicting with the word of god because come on that's why we that's why we break some of these people down because they say things like like we did oprah last week yeah she says things that are wrong so if she ever (laughs) says something to you that you're gonna do such and such no you're wrong that is not what the bible Mm -hmm. says yeah Yeah. there is no christ consciousness to uh, ascend to Mm -hmm. there's only christ to be worshiped he is Mm -hmm. the savior you are not going to rise to his level that's wrong. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So if they say things that are just justifiably yeah. wrong, that's that's the testing. But, but, but what you yeah. said, yeah. what you said is hard when it is, it's not based on nothing. It's yeah. just right. it's just a prediction. Yeah, but I, but also too, I think that's the reason why people run to the prophets because they mm-hmm. they get that word that can get inside their hearts that can confirm what they're doing, even yeah. if it's godly. You yeah. get what I'm saying? Like yeah. even if what you're doing is godly, if you if you putting out a, a book or you you doing music, if you doing a movie, if you doing a podcast or whatever, and you wanted to succeed, yeah. and you like at this church and like, man, I just really want a word from the Lord about this podcast. But, yeah. And the God don't know you from Adam. Yeah. Come to you and go, the podcast is gonna work. Just, yeah. just have faith. Yeah. And walk and you walk past <laughs> and you like, 
Oh my God! Yeah, th- thank you. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I, we're, a lot of these warnings are to the listener of the prophecies, mm-hmm. but the Bible warns the prophet. Yeah, mm-hmm. they do. Mm-hmm. Woe unto you! Woe like, like, unto yeah, you! Yeah. Yes. You better if you ever say God told me such and such Come and such. On. You God better be super yeah. duper Come careful. On. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because God does not play with you no. talking on His behalf if you ain't talking on His yeah. behalf. Yeah, Back in the day, you used to get a brick. Can you imagine? Yeah. <laughs> no, seriously. Imagine somebody walking around being like, Trackstar says, or Sean says such and such. Mm-hmm. It's like, no, I didn't. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, are you serious? You'll be so mad, right? So that's what that's how God feels when these prophets yeah. are claiming to be. Mm-hmm. They're not just claiming, hey, I, I heard such and such. They're claiming to be talking for God to yeah. you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Don't play around with that. Well, you, better, you better chill mm-hmm. out with that. That's yeah. serious. Yeah. yeah. 